Welcome to Six Sigma Mania. John F. Krafseek was a researcher in the MIT International Motor Vehicle Program. He holded several leading positions in different companies, like CEO of Wyamo, the autonomous driving company. Thanks to Krafseek work, we use Word, Lean. After several years of research of how different companies are managed in different globe locations, Craftseek has written an article that changed word wide meaning about influences on plants productivity performance. This 12 page article published in Sloan Management Review in the fall 1988 is called Triumph of the Lean Production System. Let me share with you my most important takeaways. Craftseek's experience shows that level of technology does not matter on productivity. There are companies with high level performance, but almost no robotization. On the other hand, company with high automatization performed very poor. Research shows wide range of manufacturing performance and practice in Japan, North America, and Europe. This fact overturned the myth that quality and productivity are determined by plant location. More critical link among plant performance is corporate parentage and management philosophy. Japanese were more productive plants in average. But there were several North America plants exceeded Japanese levels. So, how can management shape policies to yield high performance? There are convincing evidences that some management philosophies produce better results than others. Henry Ford and his teammates were first person thinking differently when they built first moving car assembly line called Ford Model. It was revolution compared custom made car production called Craftsman period. Toyota production system is another model compared with first two. Span of workers control is the first comparison criteria. It is level of required knowledge for every worker required to perform the job. Span of workers control was low in Ford model, very high in craftsman plant, and somewhere in between in TPS plants. Industrial engineers broke tasks down to their simplest elements in Ford model. By stripping out wasteful motions and set job standards, one performed activity by one employee was done in about 30 seconds pace. The same motion was repeated over and over for thousands of times in a day. By product of this standardization was incredible efficiency level. Craftsman era workers spent about whole day building an engine. The span of worker control was greatest and required learning was very slow and many undiscovered inefficiencies. Toyota was a great innovator. They took the mind of Ford system and hands philosophy of craftsman approach. Management did not think of workers as a replaceable cogs in the great production machine. Management trained workers in maintenance, record keeping, quality control and others, rather than delegating these tasks. Workers were organized in autonomous teams did not require white collar staffs. Every worker was trained to be kind of manufacturing engineer. This concept implemented in 1950s increased efficiency over Ford system. Inventory levels criteria. Ideal world inventory levels would be very low. It is because idle parts are not adding value to the product and tied up capital. Nevertheless, modern companies choose to keep large amount of parts in their storage just in case something goes wrong, whatever reason it is. Other plants approach is just in time. Just in time was developed and used by Henry Ford, but improved and named by Toyota. Ford's idea was that the most efficient way to produce cars is to minimize time elapsed between beginning and completing product. Toyota adapted this concept and build local network of suppliers integrated with assembly plants in continuous flow. Flexibility of building wide variety of products. Great example of this flexibility is fast changeovers of stamping dies within the minutes instead of hours. There are other production criteria compared in this table. Table is available on my blog sixsigmamania.com. Word lean is used for the first time in Craftseek's article on the page 4 in the chapter named Back to the Future. Craftseek does not want to refer to different models that Fordism and TPS are representing. He identifies buffered and lean production system instead. Most of western productions were buffered with high inventories against any problem that might possibly occur. Lean operations inventory level kept on minimum levels, problems quickly identified and resolved within the process. Absent worker was immediately exchanged by another trained colleague. On the other hand, lean system presents higher risk of total production stoppage. Risk is neutralized by experienced, well-trained workforce. In following part of article craft seek research proves several key productivity influences. First, there is strong correlation between quality and productivity. 
productivity trends are tempting to improve with improving quality results. It is because of reduced rework effort, more attention to process control, less inspection. But this correlation is strongly affected by initial quality of product design. Second, corporate culture ranks with national culture as a factor correlates with indifferences in plants performance levels. Some Western plants exceeding some Japanese plants in productivity and quality performance. There is relatively large performance spread in Europe, North America, as well as in Japanese companies. Third, management policy is strongly influencing productivity. Management oriented and implementing lean style usually results in robust high productivity. The buffered approach shows more fragile productivity. Management policy has strong correlation with corporate culture. Fourth, automation and robotization has little effect on productivity performance. Research observations revealed that technology implementation without significant investments in developing lean production does not necessarily lead to high performance. One of the reasons is that robotics were installed to improve quality and not productivity. So, these are highlights of John F. Kraft Seek's article, Triumph of the Lean Production System. Let me know in the comments below, what do you think about this world mindset changing article? Take a look under the video, where you find a link to my blog, where you can download Kraft Seek's article. If you find this video helpful, give us a like, and do not forget to subscribe. Looking forward to meeting you with the next video.